So for today's video, I am going to be re-filming a video that I had already filmed, but um, I realized that some of my footage, a lot of my footage was blurry and I didn't realize it till I was editing. So now I had to redo it. I have a cut crease makeup tutorial. Oh my God, I love the way this eye makeup turned out. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick zoom in of what it looks like. I tried to be very informational in this video and just try to explain every single step that I'm doing and just show you guys the brushes that I use, everything like that because I know cut creases can be a little bit intimidating if you don't know, you know, exactly what you're doing or if you if this is your first time doing a cut crease. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. So, yeah, let's get started. So taking my Kat Von D eyeshadow palette, the first shade I'm going to be taking is this peachy shade right here. To light peachy shade, I'm going to use this as my transition shade. A lot of girls, when they're doing cut creases, some girls start off with like the dark black eyeliner or eyeshadow, uh, like a black eyeshadow here. They start off with their line and then they kind of blend up and then add their shades. I feel like that's the hardest way to do it in my opinion. I like to start off with my transition shade, you know, like if I was normally doing eyeshadow but I'm just a little bit more precise with it. And then I build up the color from there and get darker and darker as I go along. But I mean, you can obviously do whatever you want. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more. I want you guys to really see what I'm doing here. So taking that peachy shade, I'm taking my M330 brush from Morphe, this one right here gonna tap off the excess and now I'm gonna get started so what I like to do how you find your crease if you don't have a defined crease then it is gonna be a little tough for you because you're gonna have to make your own crease just look straight into your mirror and then you know just make your own crease I have my little crease oh my god this fly is pissing me off <laughs> if you look straight into the mirror you'll see these little lines that form right here. This is where your crease is at, right? As my guide, I'm not going to use the first little wrinkle, this little line that you see here. I'm going to use the second line, which is right here. So there's, the, there's this little line, and then there's this line. I'm going to go right here, where that little line, the second line is at, and that's what I'm going to use as my guide to create my crease. So then... When you're blending, and this is why I love this brush, if you hold, I'm like not pressing the brush in there. I'm like lightly doing this, okay? I'm going to take my brush, and then this is where I'm going to like kind of create that line with my transition shade, which is so much easier using a transition shade than a darker shade. I'm just going to blend out. So you pretty much follow that line and out. Don't go down like you normally would, like a normal eyeshadow. Uh, application just start here and take it out start here take it out and when you're blending just keep it outwards this doesn't have to be super precise because what I'm gonna do later is take some concealer and kind of help clean it out this is just gonna be my guide so then just taking that eyeshadow I'm just blending it out and keeping it pretty precise and this is why I love this brush because like it just gets in there so good and it doesn't get the product everywhere it just gets it where I want it so now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye pick up some of that product tap off the excess and now again look straight into the mirror and you see this line not this line I'm gonna use the second one it's so funny because on this one my second line is not really that defined you can't really see it but you know I'm just gonna kinda mimic the same thing I did to the other eye and apply my transition shade. So again, just following the crease and bringing it out. Don't bring it down like down here. Bring it out that way. Hope I'm making sense. So then I'm gonna take one more layer of this eyeshadow and do it again. I want my transition shade to be nice and saturated. So the next shade I'm taking is this one right here which is a little bit darker than this one. I'm gonna gradually work my way to the darker shades. I'm gonna take this one and with the same N330 brush I'm gonna be applying it right below my transition shade just like you normally would with another makeup look. I'm just taking it with this brush, I'm barely, like, I'm just using the tip of the brush. That way it's a little bit more precise. So just taking the tip of the brush and blending it in there.
So now that I'm getting to the darker shades, I'm going to switch to a pencil brush like this one because with darker shades, I want to be a little bit more precise so, uh, you know, I don't get out of hand and blend the darker shades up here. I want to keep the darker shades more below uh, in the crease. So now I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here. So again, looking straight into your mirror, you see that line that I was talking about? Remember, start with most of the product out here lightly with your brush don't do it hard like just lightly work your way in there and again just flick it out like that and if you want you could kinda like raise your brow so like the little skin can raise up a little bit and that's a little easier too so again, most of the product out here, and then with whatever's left, you work it into the inner part so it's not like super dark in here. So now taking the same M330 brush, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is a really pretty orangey red brick shade. And I'm going to be blending out that line that I just did. Again, just using the tip of the brush. And I'm holding my brush all the way out here, and it's not like right here or here. It's right out here and I'm just like doing this, okay? Oh my god, I hate my brow. Look at my brow. Look how these hairs just go down. Why can't they stay up? <laughs> it bugs me so much when I'm editing my videos. I see my stupid brow like going down Ugh. <sighs> so then I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right over here and with the same pencil brush I'm gonna add a little bit more definition with this color And then again, taking my blending brush, I'm actually probably not even going to have to use the uh, fluffier blending brush. I'm just going to blend everything with this one. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess. So I'm going to take more of the Maybelline concealer. You could take any concealer that you have if you don't have this one. Just take a nice, you know, light concealer. I'm going to put some in the palm of my hand. And I'm going to take this shader brush and just start cleaning out this um, crease. So I'm going to start it here on my lid. I hope I'm in focus. So I'm literally pretending like if I was applying normal eyeshadow and I was just, you know, applying it on my lid. But you're just being a little bit more precise. And now here is where you want to kind of flick it out like that so you can clean it up. And this is what's going to help, like, make your cut crease look fierce and sharp and clean this step right here. So again, look straight into your mirror. And then just kind of even it out. And you can use little patting motions to blend that concealer out or you can use your finger. I'm not trying to flick you off. <laughs> 
So now what I'm going to do is take the eyeshadow here that I used to set my concealer, this one. You can use something really bright like this one, but I don't want it to be that bright. So I'm going to take this one, and with the same shader brush that I just applied concealer with, I'm going to pat this all over the lid. And this is going to be my lid shade. And just bring it all out here. Now taking some makeup remover and just the paper towel, I'm going to clean out the edges. Now taking my eyeliner, this part gets me a little nervous, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I just don't know if it's going to come out perfect and I want it to, so... I'm taking my iStudio gel liner with my E65 uh, angled brush from Sigma. I'm just going to start this eyeliner and see how it goes. I might not finish it up on camera because for some reason on camera I could just never get it perfect. I have to like, you know, take my time and blah blah blah. So we'll see how this goes. So now that my eyeliner is done, I'm going to use some mascara for my lashes. I'm going to use the Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I did apply some false lashes, I'm sure y'all noticed, but I'm using the 163 lashes from Ardell. These have been one of my favorite lashes, like, forever now. You guys know I've been using them a lot in my videos. Sorry, this lash is, like, killing me because it's, like, stuck. Anyways, I'll fix it later. Okay, so now that my eyes and brows are done for now, I'm going to go ahead and do my face. I am going to speed through this process because I always feel like I do the same thing. But I would rather put the whole process on the video and fast forward through it than not putting nothing at all. So yeah, let's go ahead and speed right through this. Mm -hmm. 